everybody welcome back to the channel i am frankly fm 84 and today i'm coming back at you with another player profile before we get into the profile if you're enjoying the content on the channel at all please don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the like button to help the channel out and any comments you have whether it be players that you've seen or players that you want to see leave them in the box below and i will try and get through as many of those as I can. So in today's episode we are going to be looking at a player that is currently at Coventry City. He's on loan there from Brighton and his name is Leo Ostergaard. I think he's regarded as one of the bright prospects in the Brighton team which is why he's currently getting first team football at Coventry. And when you look at his starting point in the game he doesn't look spectacular. You can see that he has good technicals with heading Long throws, marking, tackling. The rest of them, though, are so-so. You can see, though, that his mentals are where he really is excelling with aggression, bravery, work rate, all 17s. He has good anticipation, composure, concentration, decisions, determination, 16, leadership, positioning and teamwork all rank really highly, too. He has good acceleration jumping reach, natural fitness, pace, stamina and strength. He stands at six foot tall, so added to his strength of 15, I think he's a player who is going to really give attackers a hard time and will be solid in the back line. You can see that he starts the game off with a current ability of 120 and he also is a current Norwegian under 21, having been capped eight times and scoring two goals so when we jump forwards into the game 2024 now you can see that Ostergaard has gone back to Brighton he is 24 years old and valued at 17.75 million when you look at his stats they're still not fantastic in terms of technicals and I don't think they've hardly developed at all he's heading his 15 his long throws at 11 he's marking his 14 he's tackling his 15 still the rest of them though are so so in terms of his mentals, you can see that he has good aggression, bravery, determination, work rate has come down to 16. But then his other stats in there are anticipation, composure, concentration, flair, leadership, positioning and teamwork. They're all solid stats for a centre back, which is really what you would want for somebody who is going to hold the line for you. And when you look at his physicals, he has good acceleration, agility, balance, jumping reach, natural fitness, pace, stamina, strength. So really, when you look at him as a player, you may be put off by the technical list. But what you've got to remember is his mentals and physicals can be exceptional. He is a current ability player now of 136. And he has also been capped 18 times by Norway. When we move on and have a little look at the scouting report, this scouting report has come from a save where I was doing a test with Aston Villa. So I've used their scouts to basically have a little look at him and see where he would rank in the Aston Villa team. When you look in the bottom left hand corner, if you were to rank him directly against Toro Mings, who is Aston Villa's vice captain, at the start of the game, you can see that he's already better than Toro Mings and has the potential to be as good as Dennis Popov in the game. When you look at his pros, he's a consistent performer. His bravery and work rate make him a good team player. He's very brave. Matches his new signing philosophy for Aston Villa. He's an ambitious individual and always looks to win. He enjoys big matches, can play in a couple of positions. He's a current international. The player could be successfully retrained as a defensive midfielder, which is no surprise really. He has good passing and good reading of the game and he has English as his second nationality his cons though he has a competitive streak which sometimes leads to him bending the rules and he will likely find it difficult to adapt to the core group of the squad but will firmly put into the secondary when we look at the analyst page his positives are 163 career appearances he's rated by Aston Villa as a 76 player it says he's currently operating a decent Premier League player. He has the potential to be a good Premier League player in the future. And he would be a very good signing. So, when we look at him overall, Leo Ostergaard is a player that maybe goes underrated at the start of the game. He has a current ability that has increased by 16 in the four years that we have jumped forward. And despite his stats not looking fantastic, 
I think he's a player that you could pick up quite cheap early on and maybe get him into your teams and see him blossom as a player. If you develop him right, he also has striker as a position, which is quite strange. He's got finishing a five, but can play there. I wouldn't recommend playing him there as he's an out-and-out defender, but it's an option, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I think that in terms of him as a player, you can go out, get him, and rely on him to help out in your back line comfortably. So, if you sign Leo Ostergaard, let me know in the comments section down below. So then, I think that Leo Ostergaard is going to be a solid player in Football Manager 21. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. If you sign him or have signed him, let me know how he has got on in your games and how he performs for your teams. If you've enjoyed the content, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button to help the channel out. Stay tuned because there's going to be plenty more player profiles to come and some of these are crackers, so you don't want to miss them. But for this one, that's a wrap. Thank you very much for watching and until the next one, take care. I'll see you soon.